Hey, what's up YouTube? We are going to take the turbine down today uh, because I need to have a look to see if that other motor will actually fit in the frame. I may not fit the motor today, but if the motor doesn't, won't actually fit in there, then we need to make another frame, which I've uh, got an idea about that. So that's just running in 12 volts. It's not very windy. So going to do undo uh, the side cables to allow for a tiny bit of slack. That's due to the deficiency in the overall system. And then we'll let the winch down and we'll prop the turbine up on a ladder so that we can uh, access what we need to. Sweet. Yes, mate. My mate's on the winch. Yep. Doesn't look like there's going to be enough room in here for the other motor, which if there isn't, then what it will involve is moving this, moving all this forward which it probably overall design wise overall design wise it'd be better for this to be further forward anyway you can see here the bolts that are used to adjust the frame angle tying the wire up like this has worked pretty well it's the first time it's been down for a few weeks you can see the two sets of blades Ugh. now you probably won't believe this, but I'm thinking of adjusting this top hub, top blade hub that I made, uh, to take 12 blades. I'll try and show you that drawing before I finish. Look at this weird uh, dust on everything. These are the little levels I use to uh, do the things. My mate's just grabbed the motor, so we're just going to have a quick look. Right, that's just showing the slight difference in meatiness. You can tell the uh, interior track fits around the exterior of the track on the left, if that makes sense. So you can see it's definitely more meaty. Uh, what we're probably going to do is I'm just going to go get my meter and some tools and we're going to maybe take the chain off and then take this out. Pop the tail up. Sweet. Just get a view of me in front of the blade so people can uh, see the first. Just to show you it's real. Sweet. Right, the plan is with this, okay, so we've got six blades on here and I've got another six blades. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some strips of metal that will come out here and the other blade will be bolted on here. So this will have 12 blades on it, six of which will come out this far. And then it'll have another six, which will actually come out further than this. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work or if it'll be any good. Uh, this is the other bit of interest because I've actually finished welding that other cog. Uh, so I'm going to go have a cup of tea and then decide what choice of action to take. Sweet. Yo, let me show you this. Uh, firstly, this, which I haven't finished yet. Uh, I'm struggling with the new welder, but it's getting done. Uh, I've ordered two new chain links, which means I can make an extra piece of chain to connect up to the existing chain when we use this wheel. And then if I want to use the smaller wheel, uh, then we'll just take the new bit of chain out and it will link back together and it will be super easy. So I thought I don't want to be making different chains and messing about with that. So that's the plan. And what we're going to do while my mate's here, he's going to take the, both the blade assemblies off and then basically I can work on what I need to work on. He's only here for an hour or so, so I don't want to rush anything. We're just going to take the blades off and then I can crack on with fitting this and looking at whether the motor will actually fit in or not. Sweet. There's not a lot I can do about this rust on here. The next project I'll try and purchase a stainless steel one. It all depends on the money. Yo, so that is the beast without the blades on. Get a closer look at this. 
which is the blades obviously turn that and I've got a bigger one of these uh, and I'm not sure I want to be able to have both of them on the machine at the same time obviously both of them can't be connected to the motor but if I can have one here and then I can shuffle it along and tighten it up so that I don't have to keep doing this to put the other cog on but yeah we'll see the whole point of taking it apart is that now I've got a few days to to do the stuff it needs doing and then we can put it back up anyway so there's the blades there's the beauties with the homemade chisel uh, one of them was <clears throat> a bit knackered but I kind of fixed it I layered them with a bit of fiberglass and painted them but uh, they'll be due another course of paint and then I'll take this over to the house and show you exactly what I mean with the other six blades I'm going to take the chain off let me just show you where the link is that makes that nice and easy it's on this side somewhere yeah we're just going to take the chain link off and then while he's here we're going to remove these parts and i'll probably take the motor out as well while he's here and then everything can get done again properly and then put back together sweet and that's it i'll just show you without the chain on so that's the 28 tooth sprocket and that's a 20 tooth sprocket sweet so yeah we're just taking the bearings off and now the chain's off and then that'll all be apart as good as pretty much yeah so this is the plan with the other blades as you can see there will need to be a leg welded on here to which the other blades can bolt on i have no idea if it'll work but i'm going to give it a go anyway it will make that heavier uh some people would say it's a stupid thing to try but i'm definitely going to give it a go sweet yo yeah, so that's all for today the wind turbine is taken apart and i shall be doing the stuff over the next few days and we'll be putting it back together and we'll be running it again probably going to use the old motor still rather than this one because it requires because this motor is so wide and the reason is because this is a rear motor hub rather than a front motor hub so it's got this extra distance here which just won't fit in the current frame so that is on hold but getting it flying again with the larger gear cog and the extra blades that's the plan so i'll see you in the next couple of days wish me luck <laughs>